It was a busy night for firefighters in Contra Costa County, that is. As KPIX 5's John Ramos reports, they had to put out more than 50 fires, all of which were mainly sparked by fireworks. Here in Contra Costa County, officials say the number of fires were down this year, and they're hoping people are starting to get the message. Still, the number of illegal fireworks that were used was neither safe nor sane. People living on Ross Circle in Martinez got a scare last night when a fire swept down a hillside toward the rear of their houses. Neighbors say they heard fireworks being used on the street above shortly before Nilesh Bajaria and his wife Rupa had to hurriedly prepare to flee their home. And people need to understand it's not just them. They need to understand that they're putting other people's lives at risk too. Firefighters arrived quickly and no homes were lost. And Confire spokesman Steve Hill said the 48 grass fires and five structure fires they were called to is about 20 to 40 percent fewer than last year. He said most residents obeyed the ban on fireworks, reporting illegal use and calling in any fires very quickly. So uh, we uh, got some help from our residents last night and we're very thankful for that. Uh, we could use some more because there's still an awful lot of fireworks being used out there. He said hundreds of pounds of fireworks were confiscated by law enforcement in the week leading up to the 4th. But the fire danger wasn't limited to illegal fireworks. The professional show at the Concord Pavilion had to be stopped twice so firefighters could extinguish small fires on the hillside above, alarming some of the spectators. Well, we are now we have two fires. They stopped the show, and I think it's too risky to continue. We should, we should probably stop the show, and that's that. But Hill says the show had been approved by the fire marshal and posed no danger. That area was uh, carefully abated, you know, to uh, prevent the spread of any fires that would have started. Uh, and so the city did their did exact everything we asked them to do, and a lot more actually, uh, to to make sure that was safely conducted. But Ambika Nand doesn't think it was a good idea. Forget about the good idea. It was a very bad idea to do that. He doesn't understand why a fireworks show would be held at a venue that backs up to open hills. And even if it was deemed to be safe, he wonders about the message it sends to the public. This is not right. Telling other people don't do it and you go ahead and do it in your backyard, which is no good at all, sir. Perhaps it is a sign that public attitudes toward fireworks on the 4th of July are changing. People are beginning to question whether the beloved tradition is really worth the risk. In Martinez, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Confire says what really helped last night was the weather. The air was cool with enough humidity to keep any fires that did break out from spreading.